Hi guys, Kieran here again, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the song Am I Pretty by The Main. So this will be an acoustic version of the song and it's going to be based off a video I saw on YouTube. Um, so to get started with the song you will need a capo and you will need to put your capo on the third fret. Uh, just like always my guitar is tuned a whole step down so I just need to put it on the fifth to make it sound like it's on the third, but you guys put it on the third and it'll sound just like this. So this is a uh, quite a, a beginner song, but it's got a few um, funky funky chords in there. If you're a beginner, uh, it's, a, it's a good song to play if you want to advance your playing a little bit. Um, so we're gonna have five chords all together. We'll have this C chord here, G, B slash G and a D and then the fifth chord is just a different uh, voicing on that D. So to play these chords, um, if you know a C chord, where your third and second finger are, you can put your second and first finger where they were. So you run the third fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fourth, and then put your pinky and third finger on the third fret of the first and second string. Mute that sixth string as well. So that'll be a C add nine, but I'm just gonna call it a C for this video. And to get to a G, you literally just move your first and second finger up one string. And sometimes I like to take my fifth fi um, my second finger off and just mute that fifth string. So the third chord is this B slash G. So when you're on the G chord, take your second finger off and mute that sixth string. And that's your B slash G. And to get to the D, it's gonna be this shape here. So a normal D would look like that. But with this D, you're just taking your first finger off. So you've got your third finger on the third fret of the second string and your second or first finger on the second fret of the first string. Then you want to mute the sixth and fifth string. So you're just playing the highest four strings. So that's that D there. And then the fifth chord is just a different voice and on the D. So it's when you're on a C major chord there, you just move up two frets. And that's your D chord there. So you've got your third finger on the fifth string of the fifth fret, second finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then first finger on the third fret of the second string, and mute that sixth string, and play everything else open. So there are the uh, five chords for you there. Uh, I'm just gonna touch on the strumming pattern now. Um, there's just gonna be one strumming pattern for the entire song. So it's nice and easy. So the strum pattern for this song will be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And that'll be a one strum pattern for you there. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And like always, that strum pattern will be in the description, as well as all the chords. And some of the chords in this song, they um, they just play for half that strumming pattern. Um, but when I go through the chord progressions, I'll explain where you need to change within that. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And like I say, that strumming pattern is used for the entire song. So getting into the chord progressions now, uh, there is a, just a slight little intro, and he just plays um, two strumming patterns lengths, two strumming pattern in length, I should say on this D, so it's just and then it gets into the verse from there. So the verse chord progression will be C for half a strum pattern to this D for half a strum pattern to the B slash G for half a strum pattern and then back to the C for half a strum pattern. And that whole chord progression there will go around four times for the verse. So when I say half a strumming pattern, uh, on this C to D, for example, 
Uh, the strum pattern will be down, down, up, down, up, down. And that down there is where you change. So down, down, up, down, up is the first half. And then the second half is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So it'll be. But if you uh, are struggling with that, I'll put a slash in the instrument pattern in the description. And that's when you need to change to the next chord uh, when it's when you just um, play the chord for half the strum pattern. So. But once you get a hang of it, it's uh, it's uh, it's pretty pretty easy. So moving on to the chorus now, you've got a C for half the strum pattern, a G for half the strum pattern. A B slash G for half the strum button to a C for half the strum button. Then you go C for half the strum button, G for half the strum button, and then you go to this um, this style D for a whole strum button. And then you go back to the C for half the strum button, G for half the strum button. B slash G for half the strum button, C for half the strum button, and then you go C for a whole strum button, and then this style D for a whole strum button. And then you get into the little post chorus thing and you just play C for half the strum button, G for half the strum button, G slash B for half the strum button, C for half the strum button. And then you play C for half the strum button, G for half the strum button, and a D for the whole strum button. But I'm aware that there's um, there's a, quite a few changes there, um, so go check the description. I'll, I'll lay them out nice and neatly, um, and they'll all have whether you play it for a half a strum button next to them or a whole strum button. Um, but what I'll do now is I'll play through the intro verse and chorus just so you can uh, piece it all together in your head. So it should sound like this. You think I'm ugly And I know you hate my body If you don't like just what I do So moving on to verse 2 now, verse 2 is exactly the same as the first verse, um, exactly the same in length and strum pattern wise and chord progression wise. And then you get onto chorus 2 which is exactly the same as chorus 1. And then after chorus uh, 2 you get into the bridge. So the bridge, you effectively just stay on this G for the whole of the bridge. So. In total, you'll stay on this G for 10 strum patterns in length. And for the first two strum patterns, uh, there's no singing on it. And then for the final eighth, that's where the singing comes in. Um, but I'll just play through the bridge now, just so you can um, get a sense of what that sounds like. So it should sound like this.
then from the bridge, you just go into that final chorus there. And then the final chorus is exactly the same as the previous choruses. And then once you're on this D for the last chord of the chorus, you can go back to a G and that'll be the last chord of the song. So that last final bit will just sound like this. You can make me up in the shape that fits me and tell me love I'll ever breathe. So I think I've covered everything there. Like I say, all the strumming patterns, all the chord progressions will be in the description. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and go check out my channel as well. I've got a lot more videos over there. And in the future, I'm going to be coming out with a lot more videos. Uh, I've got some more time low tutorials coming up and uh, some neck deep as well and also uh, a lot more of the main i'm going to cover in the future as well so uh, if you like the sound of that uh, stay tuned and until next time peace out